All right, so base review. Okay, um, so I don't know if you, yeah, if you heard the last one or not, but again, you want to, let's see here. Okay, so you've been up in crystal, so you've already gotten the crystal bonus for going there. If you could go, if you could push higher, there's another bonus for getting to master. Again, just push as high as possible um, because the loot bonus is worth it. So even you know even if you seem like you're out leveled or people are stronger than you, just push as as high as you can, uh, and, and to get that, um, I would say, let's see here. All right, let's take a look here. You have a good base. You have a good base. I wouldn't leave your research out here, your lab out there. I would bring your lab in because because the the, the same thing here. Um, you're actually behind on your research. Like you don't have a lot of, um, well, not the, sorry, not the, the research lab. No. Um, okay. You are upgrade. I was going to say, you want to upgrade your dark barracks troops. And I don't know what the max is. I'd have to look it up for the max for town hall eight, but you got this one at dark barracks two, And this one's only at one. Uh, so that's fine. Don't worry about like trying to keep them together. Like rush this one and get it up as high as you can to unlock more dark barracks troops. Okay, uh, because right now all you've got is minions and hog riders, and these other ones are going to be much more powerful. Uh, you may not get them, in, you may not be able to max your your dark barracks for Town Hall Eight, but get it as high as you can, just to unlock more troops. Because obviously the whole point of the game is like attacking, defending stuff. So the more troops you have, and the more different types of troops you have, the better. If you have like a bunch of different troops, like like Barching is okay for like if you're resource farming and stuff but if you're trophy pushing or something like that and if you're if you're trying to trophy push and get up as high as you can like up to crystal or whatever you want like varied types of troops you want different types of troops uh because they're gonna they'll they'll be harder to to defend against if you've got you know you got some archers and you got some flying you know like say minions and dragons and lava hounds or something and then you've got a couple different types of tanks like you've got golems and you've got pekkas you know and then you've got a few giants as well and whatnot but just like spread it out and mix it up okay um you want to let's see here um let's see here I would bring the village if you're going to, so, I, okay, so if you're going to uh, trophy push up like that, and it's, you know, what, so doing what I was suggesting, if you're going to trophy push, which I would suggest just because of the higher loot bonus, because once you start winning those, you know, the higher levels, you get a lot more loot bonus. Um, plus, if you do push into masters, you get a thousand gems, which is awesome, because right now, you only have three workers, or three builders, and so you want to get that fourth and fifth if you can. So push as high as you can to get the, the gem bonuses. Um, finish the goblin map, get the gems. Um, these ones will come, like elixir and gold, they'll come as you go through. Uh, upgrade clan castle, you know, that one you can do. Uh, you might not be able to do that currently, but uh, what else can you do? You'll destroy builders' huts, that one will come. Um, but yeah, reach master league. Like this is a huge bonus. I want to say it's like a thousand gems or something if you hit masters, and it's even bigger. So that's a big one, as well. Um, you're almost there on clan wars, so focus on your clan wars. But try and get those gems, get more builders. So, uh, but you definitely want to get the the builders to to be able to help push yourself faster. But once you do, I would bring once you start trophy pushing and everything as well. I would bring all these buildings. And everything you can't see my mouse but i would bring all these buildings inside the walls as well put as many structures inside of your walls as you can when you're trophy pushing so it's harder for people to take your trophies like like take, get the stuff like all the walls in here like if you need to spread your base out a little bit and put your structures inside the walls like you've got all your it's very obvious you've got all your traps right here and right here trying to lead them through when it's it's a lot easier for someone to just drop a giant say right here in front of this and a couple wall breakers and they'll come in through here as opposed to trying to go through here. So it's very obvious path where your traps and everything are set at. So um, I would space it out a little bit, make your traps harder to find, because I could tell you where your Teslas and your traps and everything are just by looking at your base. So you don't want to make it that obvious. Spread it out. Like I bet you within like this little area here, this little block of four, this little block of four tiles, and the same over here. 
those four blocks of tiles, you either have Teslas or giant bombs in all four of those spots. Um, and then in the corridor here as well, you've got your single bombs or your spring traps on both sides. So it's very easy. So you want to be more random and less predictable uh, because I, if I were to attack you, I would not drop them. I would not drop troops out there because they'd go right through there and they'd walk through that gauntlet, which is what you want them to do, but it's too predictable. So um, just resource farming, going to fully max my base before upgrading. Okay. Um, resource farming is, that, that's fine. In that case, bring all your resources in. Like, because you, you're trying to resource farm, you want to save, you want to protect your resources. So it's not really so much as far as trophy pushing. If you're, if you're resource farming, bring all of your mines in, bring all of your bases in. Like, I could drop right here, I could drop some barches right here, and take your elixir collectors, your dark elixir collector, I could hit this gold mine here, this gold mine here. Bring them into the center. So get rid of your, get, move your town hall out. Bring all of your elixir, all of your collectors and everything closer into the center. Protect them with walls. Put your structures, you know, like a, a ring of walls, and then put the rest of your structures in there and everything. Like have all of your defenses in there and then another ring of walls on the outside, hopefully, if that makes sense. So, um, but that's how I would I would look at it. If you're, if you're trying to, um, if you're resource farming instead of trophy pushing, then yeah, bring your resources in closer together, spread their defenses out. Um, don't make your base so predictable with your traps. Uh, push to master, because you've already got the gem bonus from from Crystal, so push to master as fast as you can to get that gem bonus, get a, a fifth builder, so that way once you do get the re or fourth builder, and then hopefully fifth as well, once you do get the resources, um, you'll be able to continue to upgrade and max out. So hopefully that all helps. Um, but your base looks good. Good luck to you, man. Thanks for stopping by the stream.